Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 52, first round match between Timbux and his Nurgle and Misspelled Tree and her Wood Elves. In the booth with me is Squirrel Metzo and Squirrel, not Metzo. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, how are we doing? Are we still dedicating? Uh, are we still dedicating games to various countries, or did that meme die? It's been a oh, while. We're, we're still doing it when find me is here. Uh, okay, real quick, hang on then. <laughs> Random ge country generator, country generator. <laughs> that's not good. That's not not my normal site. We won't go to my normal site there. Oh, God. Uh, this one is going out to the uh, the, um, uh, the USA. Sorry, fuck oh. me. All right, it goes out to America, the worst country on the fucking planet. <laughs> hey. It could be worse. You could always be Texas, which is totally the a country. Yeah, yeah. yeah the national you, dish is probably Fuck a cheeseburger or something fucking stupid. <laughs> Everyone there is an asshole. <laughs> they're the worst, and they're the cause of 90% of the problems on the planet. <laughs> but it's the 10% that are actually really bad. We have 90% yeah. of the good problems. <laughs> oh, is that is that how we make ourselves feel better about it? Okay. Of course. Fair enough. Anyway, we got some Blood Bowl going on. This very well could be the last Blood Bowl game I ever call because it looks like we're winding down on Blood Bowl 2, getting ready for Blood Bowl 3, and we will not have a way to stream those games unless uh, the streamer is actually playing the game, so that doesn't sound very exciting. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And yeah, look at this. What a big, what a big uh, tackle pom here. The is tree gonna make a big old foul here? Maybe. Maybe do a GFI with the or do a dodge with the loner at the end of the turn to go for it, since he's on the ground. Yeah, but I think. Um, well, it doesn't looks like she's resisting it. Uh, I don't. Not sure I would resist this foul. <laughs> um, but it's it's tough, right? Because obviously you don't you can't. It's really tough. So so yeah. So. Timbux won the toss and chose to receive to just try and bang people out. Um, uh, he's got not much of a team, honestly. There's a tackle pommer and there's a pommer and there's some guard. It's pretty unexciting. Um, and no inducements. Whereas Tree has got a wizard, uh, but only 11 players and a really nice dance, two really nice dancers and an incredible catcher. Incredible catcher, but like that's literally all. <laughs> what uh, what was that that died from the Nurgle? Because uh, you know, classic wood elves. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> but classic yeah, wood, wood elves bench. getting the kill on the first turn. Yeah, but yeah, Woody with no bench already taking a cast, and yeah. that the no bench means can't protect the catcher, which is like amazing. And there you go. They would have been better off risking the uh, risking the send off from the foul. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard. The math on it's so hard. With since the player has regen, right? So like, best often the best case scenario is that half the time it comes back anyway, and you still lose a player. But maybe them losing you losing one this turn and not one for the next seven turns. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's tough. It is a tough call. Also, maybe if you think you're you're still the favorite, even if you take a couple of loner removals, you figure it's okay, and so you don't want to just possibly do some high variant stuff to fall behind and not be favored because you think it doesn't matter what happens as long as this one turner punches it in. Yeah, it's, it's Nurgle it's, and they can't score anyway. It's super inter It's genuinely super interesting whether whether to foul there or not because I think Tree is ahead, right, with a wizard and these dancers and this catcher. But then you don't, you know, if half of your team dies, even though the, the rest are just loners, basically. It's basically three players and eight loners, almost. Um, so, you know, do you even care if you lose the other the players? <laughs> yeah, maybe you need to do more high variance strategy, not for this game, but for future Chalice stuff, you want to try and maintain players. So you can get not loners or get a bench, theoretically, somehow at some point, or get maybe a loner gets an MVP or something that's leveled up. So you can get players that aren't terrible on the team throughout Chalice. Maybe you do need to do high variance here to start out with. Who knows? Who knows? I don't. No bolt. Like every turn, there could be a bolt, couldn't there? Because Edge 5 could just leap in and. and... Squirrel it away. Squirrel it away. See what I did. 
Well, no. I mean, as we know, squirrels couldn't squirrel away because they don't have hands, so... Uh, good point. Mm. Good point. Yeah, isn't, isn't the whole... Isn't the whole... thing about squirreling it away, like keeping it in your mouth pockets and running off and hiding in a... hole somewhere and eating it? Yeah. Uh, squirrels love putting nuts in their mouth and yeah. gobbling them yeah, up exactly, later. Exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So just do that. Yep. <laughs> Correct. I, okay, I was going to ask, there is just an elf randomly in the backfield doing nothing, <laughs> huh? Yeah. I just saw that. <laughs> yeah. So just, I guess, for the constant threat of the bolt, eh? Because now yeah. now the bolt into into Ash 5 is like, is, you know, a win, basically, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a, yeah. a score. Yeah. You just got to stay mm. out of the foul appearances oh. with, the, with the scoring threat and call it. <laughs> Why indeed, Mordred? Wow, it doesn't happen. Oh, she's. Yikes. I. I. The problem I guess is, if you do Apple, you just get. Like, yeah. you can't stop it getting 2D. That's the thing. You can you can stop your dancers getting 2D, and you can stop your catcher getting 2D, but you literally can't stop your tree getting 2D. Is the, is the bad thing about the tree in this match. Here we go. Bit of a loose cage. In comes the bolt. Oh! The three and eight scatter into the uh, beast's tackle zone. And tentacles here being better than tackle because of how it leap works. So. Beast being pretty good against elves when he doesn't have to move and the ball just kind of lands next to him. I'm surprised about this. Uh... Oh, wow. <laughs> He's good against elves. <laughs> so glad I cursed it. Dear. Oh, perfect. Three cas each. This is wild, by the way. Like, no regen <laughs> either. Unbelievable. Oh, well, both big guys, cas. <laughs> what a wild game. Uh, the only saving grace out of this one for the Nurgle is that uh, there isn't going to be the, the score this turn, but that might not really matter. <laughs> no, no. Two's just twos to get to safety. No, but there isn't a screen here. This 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 catcher should have been one across. Yeah. There's sidestep and it's only to 3D, I guess. But it is sidestep, so... Yeah. You have to get a pal, a full pal. Under a That's all I might say. Yeah. Doesn't... So yeah, it gets away with that, but it's a slight, slight okay. misposition. Just gonna. Maybe just... you have to reroll that. I don't know. You, you have four rerolls, and it's turn five. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, I ultimately. Ultimately, this doesn't really matter to Timberx if he can just, you know, kill the entire team. Yeah, maybe. Maybe <laughs> should have just... pace to do. Maybe should have hit this, right? It was over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Could have GFI, 3D'd the Natty. Might have been the player. Threatening it just guarantees the score extra, which I think Tree wanted to do it. Probably wants to do it anyway. It probably wants, probably wants to score next turn if she can. I don't know. I definitely yeah. still... That's why I would I would I would have nailed the natty. I think I think that's what I would want to do. Natty running back away. Yeah. Yeah. J five would be disgusted with a reroll use for the Snurgle team having four rerolls and three turns left. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he really would. I do think there's a strong case for using the reroll on the three D though, just because. Now, now the stall is happening. You just can't. You're not gonna be able to get the ball back. Yeah, maybe. Uh. Oh. What can you do? What can you do here? Is uh, Timbux not a lot? Kill elves. It's your only prayer. Yeah. <laughs> just kill all the elves. <laughs> Kill up and something to try and threaten the natty so it like has to move and maybe it actually does a GFI on accident and trips or something. I don't mm -hmm. know. Pray for a double one from the natty. Yeah, pr even... pray for a misclick into a double one. Yeah. yeah. Not even threatening the natty. Three 
3D this comes. I can't wait till this comes down to three elves to tie the game on the natty, but they all have to go on the line and then the ball scatters out of bounds. <laughs> So, I mean, the teams have taken the equal attrition, but there are two reserves for the Nurgle. Yeah. It's none for the, uh, the non for the Elves. The Elves are capped at eight for the rest of the match, but it's not really going to make enough difference, I don't think, at the moment. Probably gotten slightly higher value moves with the Beast of Nurgle than the Tree as well. Well, pretty similarly. Not great. That's interesting. Tree's probably better on turn one on the LOS than the Beast Nurgle is most turns, so. No spoilers, Frenchman. Yeah, no spoilers, thank you. <laughs> uh, there's, there's tackle on this this uh, dancer, and there's tackle on this corp. On there. No, indeed, Dirly, but I mean, it's. The killer team is not that much of a killer team, right? He's got he's got a tackle pom, and that's pretty much all he's got. Higher armor value, but like the really armor value weight for the most part, with a couple armor value nine players that don't aren't ever going to get hit in the first place. So uh, it's got really just eighty eight or eighty seven. I mean, he only got the wizard. No, I mean she only got the wizard because she's got eleven players, but like. Tree's team is way, like, way, way better than Timbix, but only has 11. I guess that's the thing. It's like, it's not even the team, right? It's three players. That Those three players make the team look way better. I would think that, I, I literally thought Corpax got the wizard then. Well, Timbix, I thought Timbix was the one with the wizard, <laughs> literally. <laughs> because hmm. it looks like he should have the wizard, doesn't it? Like, what has he even got? Nothing. But then, but then when you think about it, you know, Tree's got even less. Tree's just Should literally you got pile? three I think he had to pile on that ward answer. I'm just thinking of the positioning. How having a tackle there would have been maybe a bit more annoying after the knockdown. Yeah, Timber CZ is Corpus CZ. Yep. CZ for Americans, seeing as this game is dedicated to America. <laughs> Well, the people of America, not America itself, of course. Well, not even the people of America, just people of the United States. Are you the worst? Are they Americans. Mm. They're all shit. Nothing <laughs> 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 against Canadians. <laughs> nothing against Canadians. Oh, Love me some uh, some Tom Schnees. <laughs> I mean, less, nothing against them. Let's go for that scoundrel Gary. <laughs> I've got nothing against them, they're just objectively shit. <laughs> oh, good. Well there you go. It's a pretty nice outfit these uh wood elves, aren't they? I'm quite I'm quite I'm digging the outfits for the, for the No. Woodies. No he's not yet, eh? From San Francisco. Oh well, that's good. There's there is one good so there is one good American. <laughs> San Mateo. <laughs> there is one good American. <laughs> oh dear. Wow, this is so tough now, isn't it? Do you just go for the natty? And 2 0, and it's over? I mean, uh, probably. I, uh, I suppose that is like creating more dice to just not have the advantage. I think it's like failing. It. Yeah. Like, if you double one, it's terrible, obviously, but at least you don't have to yeah. think. Like, honestly, when I had the Natty for my models, <laughs> I just did it all the time. <laughs> just like, <laughs> yeah. Well, who wants to think about shit? Exactly, exactly. It's yeah. just so easy just to do it. Uh, Corpax certainly uh, expects it. Yeah, yeah, he's trying, to, he's trying to cover it as best he can, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. And then it's like they just gave up. Yeah. Still just twos. <laughs> mm. Realized that it just literally wasn't possible. <laughs> if you're going to ask them to fail it too, you might as well just set up in case they don't do it, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it 
looks like trees going for it. Of course, this is, you know, there's an argument for like setting up one behind, right? And then trying to do like, trying to blitz to get the extra push forward so that you just protect it against a blitz. I guess the blitz is the only yeah. thing. You know, blitz are blitz. obviously double ones. A blitz that killed a a, 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 a a natty would be... I don't think I've ever actually seen that happen, and it would be pretty spectacular. Yeah. Oh, well, PI doesn't doesn't affect anything, really. Oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> so we won't see... We will see a two-turn now, right? There's no need to one-turn it, I don't think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's crazy. Whoa. Catcher here as well. Might want to score on this catcher to get the level. Oh, this one's on five. Oh, this catcher might pass. No, no, I'm just going to go for the one turn still, maybe. Hmm. Ooh, I think definitely should have stalled it one, one turn here. Doesn't need to do the GFIs, though, because nothing can... Uh, uh, fuck it. Yeah, I would have definitely stalled it. <laughs> that that seems so easy to stall. Like, just one turn. It doesn't do anything bad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think that was definitely worth his turn stall. I guess it means your might low tackle would answer gets claw palmed probably is what happens and you now you can just hide them from not getting hit. Yeah, maybe. So maybe that's it. Maybe. Who is the red suit John Goodman wow. with? Glasses? Wow. 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 Get wow. fucking knowledge, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Should ban him. Someone ban him for asking <laughs> dumb questions and not being <laughs> educated. It's Gorilla Metzl, the greatest. The winner, the winner, three five time. eight. Recognize, man. Recognize. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy Dundon. <laughs> oh, Timmy banning people. Kidding, but questions. okay. I appreciate the support. <laughs> The man who got Firefly cancelled, yep. Yeah. Oh, kick as well, that's nice, isn't it? An actual bit of use of kick. Not amazing <laughs> use, but there you go. Yeah, it's just with, with the with the with the uh with the touchback, right? The touchback onto that player would have really made me do the want to do the stall just for one turn. It reminds me of the stupidest league you ever played in, Jim, where you guys all made the max level everything teams. Oh yeah. And it was just who would who would fail their auto one turn first. <laughs> was yeah. the, the entire game. And everyone was really into it and I thought I'd gone insane because I fucking hated it. <laughs> I enjoyed it. To be fair, I made the best one turn defense I could. That I, I identified this, you see, big big brain. Mm -hmm. Big brain Jim. Yeah. So I went for like, you know, four Chaos Warriors with strength six six tentacles and uh, three big guys with strength seven yeah. tentacles and I was like doing as much, as much as I could to stop one turn so. and I'm guessing it still didn't work no no it didn't work no ah the old defensive DACA glorious gotta love the defensive DACA not really enough time for the uh, for the Nurgles to do much here is there if they don't pick up the ball. No. Well, that was a bit rubbish, wasn't it? He should have gone a, should have gone a, two. What was it? Extra arms, not two heads. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're you've always been kind of a big uh, proponent of uh, extra arms goats, haven't you? Yeah, forever. I've never I've never had a bad word to say about them ever. <laughs> Definitely not. But uh, no, I yeah, obviously I would have gone. I'd have done exactly the same. I hate I hate extra arms. But it's it's interesting that. Two heads and extra arms is like edge four, isn't it? You know. Yeah. Like it's 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 For the weird. Most part. But quite happy to take one half, but really don't like taking the other half. <laughs> oh, Andy Dayball's dead. Bosh. That doesn't help that much, does it? Again, because these three are the only ones that count. Even this one <laughs> dying wouldn't matter. It makes sense. I mean, two heads lets you dodge, which you're going to need to do with your ball carrying or more high pressure situations and pick up the ball because you're not going to use them that often for a reactive play on a Nurgle or Chaos team. Usually, picking up the ball is just I roll a three or I don't, and I don't care because they don't put pressure on me. So, it makes sense that the first that the thing you're going to do under critical points of dodging is more value. Yeah. 
This is weird, isn't it? But it's funny because you'd always take Adj, and you always take one half of Adj, but I don't really like taking the other half of the Adj. It's funny, isn't it? I guess because that's really? worth more than 20 and that's worth less than 20, I guess. Yeah. Like, if you think Adj is worth 30 and 10, then maybe you would mm -hmm. take 30 and 10, but when, when it's 20 and 20, will you take the 20 half and not the other 20 half? Also, getting full edge means you can take two heads later and get effectively agility five on the dodging. It also carries some benefits of it. You can pass, theoretically, and you can do some other. It gives you a bit more than just extra arms. Those so yeah. extra arms is really less than half of. Yeah, this is weird, isn't it? I don't understand this all standing on the back wall. This is buying an extra turn of not getting anyone hit, I guess, but. No, uh, no, because they couldn't have gotten up there this turn, so yeah, yeah, mm. they wouldn't have done anything. You're not going to stay there next turn, are you? You've got to, like, screen off your good players. No. So it seems weird to not just start screening off your good players this turn, <laughs> you know? And then they'd be free to move somewhere else. Just added an unnecessary step. <laughs> I guess it was um, kind of similar to your idea about one turning. It's just kind of mindless. You just put them on the back row. You can just go wherever you want next turn, and they're definitely safe. It doesn't matter anyway, so just yeah. move them all back there and just don't think about it. Yeah. Yeah, he does need to score this turn. Yep, then that gives him four turns to turn over because he's not going to turn over in three. You think was there's a chance in four, so yeah, got to try and score this turn. I would say. I think he needs to turn over on kickoff actually mm -hmm. against the uh, natty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's what he actually needs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're doing the relay to the rotter, or. I would have done the GFI hand off and then one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. Honestly, GFI hand off. No, oh, you can move out the way. I one, think two, we're three, scoring four, another turn. Yeah. No, you've got to do it. No, no, we're scoring now. Yeah, we're scoring now. Yeah, we're scoring now. Yeah. I thought the rock could have gotten in without a GFI, so I was looking at it, but I guess it's the same. So. There, there it is. Got to do it. Here we go. So there's four turns. There's a chance. But mm -hmm. yeah, it needs obviously the one turn to fail. <laughs> Again, needs a needs a blitz, really. <laughs> yeah, a, bl a blitz or double ones. Perfect defense, if the Natty is on the LOS, perfect defense will also probably be enough. Yeah. Really this use. would be the turn where you do that, set up one back, I think. Mm. Oh. So this is interesting, yeah, put the put the warriors on the LOS mm. for the uh, foul appearance. Mm -hmm. and not foul appearance, disturbing presence. Yeah. It sounded like you said foul penis there, Jim. Foul penis, yeah. Put the, put the foul penis on the line. Oh, and then this guy back. <laughs> okay, that's weird. He's got a goalie. He's got a yeah, goalie. in case. Well, I mean, yeah. If they fail, you know, if they fail on the the GFIs. I'd rather have this one though with the sure hands to pick it up. Oh yeah, 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 yeah for sure. <laughs> but he doesn't have sure hands, so. He doesn't have sure hands. Oh my god, he no, doesn't have sure hands. He's blushed up. Yeah. Blushed up he did he? Yeah, that helps. Yeah, you can have the full three here. That was that was a, a kind of a bad place to stand for tree, right? If you stand here or here, yeah. they can't stop you completely. Whereas here, they can stop you completely. So it's not the yeah. end of the world. You can just dodge away and stuff, but it does stop the one. Like by going there, you, your one turn can be stopped if you stand here. If you st if you stand in one of these two squares, they can't totally stop you. The scatter could make this interesting. Mm. It doesn't. Well, at least it's not a touchdown. Like, at least it's somewhat interesting, yeah. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The elves will have to play Blood Bowl, which, I mean, who wants to do that? <laughs> yeah, outrageous. Outrageous Blood Bowl playing. Imagine a Blood Bowl with natural one turn didn't exist, but you got to use 16 real rolls a turn, so it was fine. <laughs> No, this is pretty, pretty... Ooh, what? Uh, I was going to say, that one turn was... Wait! Oh, I'm on a delay. I now know what you were reacting to. <laughs> yeah, I was like, this is pretty good. What? <laughs> what? Um, I do not endorse that maneuver. 
flip me. I thought you were just mad that the one turn was at risk while the while the dodge away was happening. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, wow. Are we not hitting the one? No, we can't now. That's yeah. not what I would have done. Because again, Tree doesn't have to score. He can just back off and yeah, turtle up. We can just move back and return. Yeah. All the more reason to blitz this one and get in and make the, you know, make the mm -hmm. answer roll something. Put tackle on the ball, pray for a one because it's about as good as thing you're gonna. Wow, we don't pile on now, and we need to not have players for the other team so they can't just run away somehow. But we don't put tackle near the weird. Yeah, she has no incentive to score. Can just fall back and waste enough time here. Yeah, I don't like falling back this far though. You know, like I really like mm. the first shape until that. Because then you just got that little pocket, yeah. and then you can just move that pocket back like a square, you know? Yeah. And next turn, you move the pocket back another square, and then next turn, and then you switch it around. Whereas spreading out like this um, is probably okay, but it's. I like holding the, as high a line as you can, you know? Because now you're giving them all this free space, aren't you? Like, I really liked holding the high line, then, then just make it a, a secondary high line, and, it, and you know, but now you're just giving them all these four squares. It's a bit like the DACA, isn't it? It's a bit like what's, you know, people who criticize the DACA. Um, turning this into a DACA is encouraging the threat near end zone, which is not good. To see if the nerve to actually advance and take advantage of it, though. They didn't do that last turn. No. They kind of have to. Yeah, they do have to, and and you just giving them that like into your half, right? Whereas, yeah, that's, yeah, I don't like this from Tree. I want, I want this to be like three squares further forward or whatever. Nope. Is both from Everglade and a pal there? I guess no, because you just want. I feel like you want a pal and follow up and get your festigore even closer to the end zone. Yeah, yeah. Tag, tag the dancer. Like I want, I want these players tagged to at least make them roll a double one. <laughs> yeah, like, it's not great, is it? It's not. Oh. And like this is the worst because now this is just giving him a free hit, basically, isn't it? Yeah. And are we gonna see a lob? No. Could have just dodged away and lobbed it to this one. Eh? Could have just run over here. There's a bit. Of, there's a bit of here, disturbing presence there, I suppose. That you don't. It's a three, four, five on the catch. No, no, because just run over here um, and then lob it yeah. to him. But I guess you don't need to lob it to him this turn. Yeah, and then you can lob it next turn and then maybe just get past the disturbing presence next turn. Mm. Could also have done this stuff to set it up and then do the dodge. And then do the pass at the end of the turn, or something. And plus, might just intercept. So like, you don't you really don't yeah. want to, you really don't want to give him the yeah. intercept. You don't want to have a one in six to, to like you know go to overtime now. Yeah. So yeah, you really you really don't want to give him the intercept chance. And I'm not sure about having this so tight, but then there are three players that you want to protect, and there are, <laughs> there are three of your five players left on the pitch. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, at what point is overtime? I guess you're so low on players now, but at what point is overtime better than risking your three best players getting killed in the last two turns? Yeah. Oof. What's this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lob it. Now he gets hit. Rock. And he's going down. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Instant Could it be? Apple. Miss next. Apple works. Importantly, screening is going to be very hard. Right, I mean, you definitely just go with it. Uh, so... Okay. Oh no! Oh, no. oh my <laughs> goodness! Oh my oh, goodness! Oh no! <laughs> Wasn't it better what? to uh, dodge with this dancer and hit if you're going to do that, so that you're not dodging from tackle? So there's a bit of a misplay yeah. there, but yeah, obviously goes for the leap and there's the ball. Oof. 
I like I like doing that though. I like I like the play of you know do all the dodges and the leap and then lob it and fuck off. Surf dancer. Yep. You can do it free basically. And the apple is gone. Yep. You got it. You got to do it. That's the law. Is this a double GFI though to score still after the pickup? Yep. With one reroll left. There we go. Oh. And that is the last <laughs> reroll out of rerolls, but gets it a two-two. All right, this isn't. Uh, this is. Uh, this is uh, big time. Not. Not Skuro trying to beat Gdanik in the SFL playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> can make a can make a GFI into the end zone to go to <laughs> overtime. The casualties have really dried up after the thrilling start to the match. Yeah. Should have moved players to the end zone yet in case this got a catch, yeah. Yeah. The bubble box. The Nurgle have won the toss, so there's a chance. Ooh. Wow. Wow. I'd actually say the Nurgle might be favored. Because it is actually going to be hard, for, I think, for the L to get the ball off of them with that much guard. They had to use a yep. wizard last time, right? Yeah, with five players, it's it's going to be really hard. Nut is on the LOS. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Not even I, getting I, blocked. Oh yeah, we are. Okay. I guess you have to, right? I yeah, don't know. you have yeah. to. You literally have to. Yeah, this is pretty terrible now all of a sudden for true. I mean, it's a blitz or bust, I think. Yeah. Well, not quite, but it's not pretty. I don't... I don't love the setup from the Nurgle. You could maybe be a bit more conservative. You don't need two Nurgle Wars on the left side there, I don't think. Yeah, definitely want to be conservative here because, like, you only Protect lose your... by the Blitz, right? You only Protect yourself from a leap over or something to make them do a bunch of dice on that, at least. They've got three in the backfield. Maybe you try and form a second cage behind the elbow so they can't just jump over it or something. I don't know. I mean, you've got to win this game, though, daily, and to win this game, you need your dancers to hit the ball. And the catcher isn't in, in really anything, is he, on defense? Mm -hmm. So I quite I, I like the the catcher on the LOS because like now it's you, you know obviously for the tournament you'd rather lose a dance than the catcher but for this game you have to protect your dances like just you have to as much as you can. Maybe there's some argument you put the dance you put the catcher on the back because the catcher can just run all the way to the ball. <laughs> If it, there's ever a, there's ever like a drop or anything, because <laughs> uh, they don't have sure hands, right? They don't have rerolls, so one in three times the ball's gonna be on the ground after this turn. Mm. Oh well, catch it gets powered. I mean, the secret of durable woodies was was Gdynix the other season, man. not they? Just like he only played about twenty five games, got a two thousand TV team, and like nobody got hurt at all ever. It was crazy. Pretty big stun there, so where that sidestep went. Yeah, yeah. So two players. <laughs> Wow, you know, so in honor of our uh, of our American uh, uh, fans today, because we're we're broadcasting for them, here's a random fact: <laughs> the last recorded widow of an American Civil War veteran was Helen Viola Jackson, and she died on December sixteenth, twenty twenty. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm guessing she was like seven when she got married to him. She was she was 101 when she died. She married when she was 19, but her husband was 93, presumably go. done to cash in on a pension. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. I mean, the most famous gold digger's got to be Anna Nicole Smith, hasn't it? <laughs> what, what, what wasn't said is if her husband fought for the North and the South. <laughs> 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 Probably North if he had money after the war. <laughs> <laughs> 
She is a bit old to have married a con married a confederate, I suppose. Those confederate brides are uh, they have a legacy of being young. Oh man, this is uh, this cool. is grim, isn't it? This is grim. Yeah. Also, uh, not to say too much, but this was a case where a good example of why Tree maybe wanted to stall that one turn in the second half because it all mm -hmm. came down to that one last turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah you ran out of ran out of real estate uh, when they couldn't get the one turn. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That one turn might have made the difference. Unbelievable, Jeff. Because the thing, what Timber cool it does game. look like you've won, but it not necessarily mm -hmm. is it. It's not necessarily true. And obviously, it was pretty unlucky to get the PDD to stop the one turn and stuff. But um, yeah, that one yeah. turn could have been critical. Unbelievable. Oh, it's it also game. ended up being two or three oh, well. turns if you were really lucky. But yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, I think you've got to stall there just because it's like the payoff is so great, right? Like it, I, I've mm -hmm. gone two and a look before with elves and then got back to two two. You know, like it, it is possible. Um, you can get banged out, and like this isn't really a great team to bang you out and stuff, but like they still did it, didn't they? And uh, so yeah, I guess I would I would have like I would have gone for the one turn as well, and I would have settled for the one turn. But then once I got the the touch back, then I would have I would have definitely gone for the stall, and it was just set up to do it. Also worth remembering that it leaps are impossible, so you know you got to think about it going into the future. Leaps are impossible. Yep. <laughs> to be still disconnected, he did, yep. <laughs> what a lucky bastard. <laughs> oh, Corp. <laughs> hey, Corp. <laughs> I don't think anyone's arguing you're particularly lucky in this one. <laughs> <laughs> a leapless leap. If you're playing against the natural one turner and those two war dancers, really, uh, it's <laughs> you can't call it luck when <laughs> when the one thing that can fail them goes wrong in you know sixteen turns. Yeah. You played fine from basically being behind the entire game. Yeah. So. Yep. Unbelievable. But, I mean, the thing, the thing was the team wasn't good, right? There was only 11 L's, that was the thing, I guess. And, and yeah. like, going straight down to it made things really, really tricky. But, um, yeah, it was easy to think the team was good when actually it was just three players. <laughs> three players in a sea of loners, and then obviously the tree wasn't going to get to do much because the clone, you know, got taken out early. Um, but, you know, got pretty lucky getting rid of the trick beast as well, so it's interesting. The KOs were maybe a touch unlucky that they both stayed out after the, but also I'm not sure, like, one more player really changes the result here. Like, there's just no way for the elves to really put pressure on this Nurgle offense without a wizard and get the ball. They just don't have the tools for it. Yeah. Yeah, funny old game. Mm-hmm. Didn't even pile on for SPP. Outrageous. He didn't even fight. He needs to foul to establish dominance. Oh, okay. and, definitely you know, foul here. Yeah. Yeah, definitely going to foul here at least. Oh. Yeah, one less natty. Yep, yeah, that's true, isn't it? Unbelievable. So many natties this, this season. Should track the win rate of these natural one turner teams to see how many of them actually win more than one or two games. <laughs> that can be the objective measure of all natural one turners yeah. heading into level three, obviously. Yeah, of course. One tournament for a different rule set, best measurement we could do. Mm. Well, all we can do is, you know, KFOG beat, beat
beat my uh, beat my dwarves with his wood elves because if he had a natty, and and that's it. You know, he would have never beaten me without a natty. <laughs> never, no, he's just not that quality of coach. I mean, exactly. Kfo has never beaten me. I never had a natural one for her, so I, I've never lost the Kfo either. So <laughs> yeah. you know, really, really, he's just a straight up shitter, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> there you go right um Zay, amazing amazing game really pretty crazy um congratulations to colpax or timbux uh whatever you want to call him and commiserations to tree uh, thank you very much skuro and scroll absolutely glorious having you in the booth always a pleasure Thanks for watching. Squirrel everyone. disagrees. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.